Nowadays, underwater intelligence sensing technology is widely used in seabed resource exploration. The future in this field is immeasurable, and the demand for large-scale and long-term monitoring of the internal water body is increasing. Turbidity is often encountered in underwater development as the required targets always exist in complex water environments. However, target detection in turbid water is a significantly challenging task. This video divides the target recognition methods into three modules, target detection based on deep learning methods, underwater image restoration and enhancement approaches, and underwater image processing methods based on polarization imaging technology and scattering. Turbid water can be divided into shallow turbid water and two kinds of deep turbid water. Shallow turbid water, such as turbid fish farms, has a significant impact on the transmission of light information due to the high density of aquatic organisms and suspended matters in the water. This leads to significant image distortion. Deep turbid water, such as some deep water areas has low light conditions, resulting in the instrument receiving limited effective target light information. In general, turbid water cannot be purified, so the density of suspended particles in turbid water results in low contrast, with no inherent characteristics, blurring, and distortion. The most difficult problem encountered during the use of some detection approaches is the scattering effect of water on the light wave. Therefore, strong backscattered light, which carries impurity information, obscures the target data and reduces the image contrast. Considering the objective limitations of optical sensors in underwater scenes, the most common detection methods in turbid areas are based on computer vision theory and utilize non-optical sensors, such as LiDAR and sonar. In recent years, deep learning technology has been widely used in underwater image defogging and target identification. Methods based on deep learning investigate image sets by training the neural network and seek to establish a logical relationship to improve the image clarity or extract target features for intelligent recognition. Existing target detection algorithms are mainly divided into two-stage algorithms and one-stage algorithms. Two-stage algorithms mainly include the RCNN series algorithms. These algorithms first generate regional proposals and then perform classification and regression tasks on the regional proposals. Thus, detection is improved, but the processing time is increased accordingly. Such algorithms are more suitable for the detection of static underwater objects, such as seafloor rocks, corals, etc. Single-stage algorithms mainly include the SSD algorithm and YOLO series algorithms. These algorithms improve the detection speed and maintain the detection effect as much as possible and use the direct regression method to forecast the category and location of targets. Therefore, such an algorithm is suitable for when the target detection required is frequent due to frequent aquatic activities, such as those of fish. Effective target feature detectors and classifiers provide deep learning methods with an advantage in turbid water environments, which is why computers need to adapt to the fuzzy characteristic of turbid water and precisely identify target features. Liu Yang combined image processing with deep learning to realize species identification and density calculation of marine organisms to monitor the invasion of marine organisms in real-time. An underwater camera was used to capture image data in real-time within the monitoring range and deep learning was used to achieve end-to-end -end recognition of jellyfish. The results showed that this method can be effectively applied to calculate the marine biological density and detect marine biological species. Intelligent target recognition and positioning using deep learning methods are powerful. However, the accuracy of underwater target recognition is affected by the image clarity, and deep learning methods are only applicable in waters that are similar to the training set image, so this method has some limitations. Therefore, the combination of good image restoration methods and deep learning methods can make target detection and recognition in turbid waters more effective. Deep learning has been widely used in underwater image restoration and enhancement to improve the quality of underwater images to a certain extent. Methods based on deep learning can be used to study the relationship between the features of an image set by training the neural network and reducing the error caused by prior invalidity. Some characteristics of turbid water are similar to those of foggy weather, including problems regarding the attenuation of reflected light, blur caused by tiny impurities, and abnormal color changes. These factors result in severe color distortion and low visibility in the captured image, so suitable light models and algorithms need to be developed to eliminate any negative impacts. 
Because underwater image processing and defogging have certain similarities, various defogging algorithms have been gradually improved for application to the enhancement of underwater images. The most difficult problem encountered during optical detection in turbid areas is the scattering effect of water on the light wave, which results in low image contrast, a reduction in resolution, and image blurring. With a long research history and significant basic experience, polarization imaging technology is suitable for more in-depth research in this direction. As backscattered light occurs due to high concentrations of impurities in turbid water, the reflected light from an object is easily confused, making it difficult to distinguish the object from the environment. Therefore, the division of reflected light from interfering light, such as backscattered light, which reflects the characteristic of the object, is a core issue for underwater image processing using polarized imaging. At present, several methods, such as optical sensing technology, the polarization filter method, and the backscattering interference suppression method, that can separate coherent light from incoherent light exist. For instance, Zhao Lin proposed an underwater image restoration method based on transmission correction for when the object polarization effect cannot be ignored. This approach converts the transmittance of a low depolarized object from a negative value to a positive value and uses a simple polynomial fitting algorithm to optimize the image quality. The results showed that it can effectively improve the quality of underwater images regardless of the degree of depolarization of the target. Underwater turbid area target detection and identification technologies are used in a wide range of applications, including the detection of underwater organisms and underwater equipment. The need for productivity and automation in the aquaculture industry has given rise to technologies for the detection of underwater organisms, including fishes and sea cucumbers and shrimps, crabs, and scallops. This technology aims to achieve automated identification of the species, numbers, health status, and behavior patterns of underwater organisms. The detection of coral reefs has also been extensively studied due to the need for ecological monitoring. In addition, some underwater environments require habitat mapping and mineral identification. The inspection of underwater equipment includes many aspects, such as cables, pipes, hull corrosion, cracks, and welds.